Today MTDCNC have returned to high spec precision engineering and I'm joined by Darren. Now, Darren, thank you for having us yeah, um, no today. Certainly different circumstances uh, at the minute. Yeah, um, today we're going to look at the Heimbuck collet truck that you have on the main spindle of your CMZ, twin yeah. spindle, twin turret machine. Firstly, Darren, why did you go for a Heimbuck collet truck? CMZ suggested that that was the best collet truck for this, uh, this particular machine. Uh, now, with your experience with collet trucks and work holding from past, what benefits have you immediately seen using this new system? The, the biggest benefit is the speed of change. Uh, it's literally seconds to change a collet. Um, we've also noticed we're not having any pushback in the collet uh, and the concentricity is absolutely spot on. Now let's go then, quick changeover. How is this achieved? And in comparison to how you did it before, what kind of time savings are you getting from a, a, turno, a, a cycle time setup? Uh, this particular system uses the gum to uh, take the collet in and out. It's literally five seconds. Previously, we'd have to undo six or eight cap screws, take a faceplate off before you can access a collet. So that would probably have taken a couple of minutes, so it's easily 75% faster. Now, you're talking about pushback. Now, You've got a powerful machine here, yeah. and I believe the components that you're making are EN 2040, yes. a relatively hard material, and I don't expect that you're, you're hitting them lightly, you're hitting them hard. So how, how are you finding the pushback? How is it not giving you any pushback? What, how, how is it working? It's generally the fact that we're not getting inconsistencies with drilling depths. We can go hard with U-drills uh, and hard with turning and we're not seeing inconsistencies in hole depth or shoulder lengths from turning. So the clamping force is significant enough to hold your part securely? Yes, we do use serrated collets because we're using bar stock, but um, we've had no issues and we've been using the system now for a year and a half and I couldn't be happier with it. And now you've moved over to a system such as Iron, but which offers, offers you a lot of modular aspects. Yeah. Um, is it a system that you will continue to use for, for future machines? Yeah, yeah, certainly where we're using collets, um, I can see it being one of the top choices. I'm also looking at the modular three-jaw chuck for this one, so we can put the machine onto billet work if we need to. So uh, yeah, it's all good. Darren, thank you very much. So there you have it. Pleasure. Uh, Heimbuck collet chuck, the span top 65 from Book is saving Darren a lot of setup times and increase the accuracy of the parts that he's making.